Are you serious? Are you serious? Now, this is a very powerful asteroid that's going to go by the Earth. It's not going to hit us. Everybody calm down. It's not going to hit us. But on uh, Saturday, June the 24th, asteroid 441987. That's 441987, an asteroid that scientists discovered back in 2010. It is huge, though. It's 750 feet wide in, or in diameter. 750. This is a big rock. A lot of times you got smaller rocks go by, and they go by a lot closer. This one is going by at 7.9 LD. It's not, I repeat, it's not going to hit the Earth. But it is huge. It is a near-Earth object, and there are, you know, we've been witnessing them now. There's been a major increase in the number of asteroids that have, going been, that have been going past the Earth as near-Earth objects within range that's called a near-Earth object. Matter of fact, right now, uh, NASA's got their eye on 1,803 of them that continue to threaten the Earth at different times. It's almost every day. A couple days ago, we had two of them. One was only 33 feet, uh, 33 meters. The other one was only 28 meters, okay? Uh, but they, they went by. They weren't very close. They were even further away, but they're still considered near Earth. We've had some of those scrape by. Like we had on June 19th, we had one. It was 17 meters, so it was small, but it was only one LD from the Earth. In other words, it was only 240,000 miles. It was the distance from the moon to the Earth and when it went past. The problem you have is the more of these that keep showing up, the fact that we're in this galactical belt, that we have this increase in the numbers that are exponentially increasing, and the fireballs that keep coming through our Earth's atmosphere, we know that we, we can't keep dodging them. They know it. Scientists know it. It's, look, can I tell you what else is happening? Asteroids are in increasing at numbers that we are the the probability is increasing so much we know and according to the bible we know we're going to have at least two major deep impacts that are catastrophic cataclysmic on the planet it's prophesied to happen we also know that we have the in america we are so overdue the san andreas fault line is so overdue to go the big one there hasn't been a major quake in that part of the uh, world in 100 years. Cascadia is a ticking time bomb up there near Washington State, Oregon, Northern California, Southern, uh, the uh, Southern uh, Southwestern corner of Canada. We know Cascadia is gonna go. It hasn't gone off since 1700, and that one was so mega, so huge. I mean, it's been over 300 years. We know the New Madrid fault line that went off in eight, the quake we had 1811 and again in 1812, reshaped the entire direction of the Mississippi River. It is so overdue, it's scary. So then we know the super volcano is alive and, and shaking and quaking and, 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 and the devil's back is breaking and that thing wants to go and that's up in Montana at Yellowstone National Park. And now you got asteroids increasing like never before, earthquakes increasing. Last year, we had 44 official different volcanoes that erupted, 44. That is a significant uptick. We, the, the, the earth averages about 38 a year. We had 44 last year. So we're sensing, and with the dead animals and all the dead birds, dead fish, dead cows, it's just apocalyptic conclusion to the matter. And I'm not even talking wars and rumors of wars. I'm not talking nuclear fallout. I'm not talking uh, migrant crisis and, and, and major radical Islamic advancement. I'm not even discussing the fact that by the year 2050, we have to have twice as much food growing to feed the population than we have right now. Twice as much. Look at me in the eye. Just by the year 2050. 30, I said 2050, I'm wrong. 20, 2030, we have to have twice as much food growing. Are you serious? That's why the UN has what's called a global sustainability agenda. They've moved from agenda 21 to another whole agenda. And that is, that they got to figure out a way to, 
Either they got to grow twice as much food in the next 13 years than they are right now, or they got to figure out a way to depopulate the planet. So folks, that's why the Agenda 21, that's why the chemtrails, that's why you see the uh, Georgia Guidestones. This is why the, the, you see this globalism. It's a world movement. It's a new world order. It's the beast in the Bible. And this is why all these things are happening, technological advancement. And then now they're wanting to manipulate DNA and the artificial intelligence that's starting to uh, be increased. And the, all of the different things taking place are shaping up the wickedness, the spiritual evil that's abounding, the wars, the rumors of wars. Soon you're going to see false Christ and false prophets really start to rise and they'll deceive many. And you're going to see uh, more extreme weather conditions. And then there's Planet X. I mean, just are you serious? There's Planet X out there. Nibiru. What are you going to do with that? That's real. I mean, the, the earth is shaken. Jesus said, there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Distress of nations with perplexity. The sea, the waves roaring. And men's hearts would fail them for fear looking after those things that are coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. But then, then, I said, then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he said, just look up and just lift up your head for your redemption is drawing nigh. But are you ready to meet the Lord? Are you ready and what if you should die in one of these cataclysmic situations? I didn't even talk about sinkholes that have went off the charts swallowing things. That's another whole issue. Mudslides, tsunamis, hurricanes and cyclones that are going to continue to increase. Are you saved? Come on, let's get right with God. This, this world is not, there's no hope here. I mean, this is just where we're hanging out till, till eternity comes. But where will you spend it? Give your life to Jesus Christ. 12 noon Eastern, I'll be live. Join me right here on this YouTube channel. I'll be live.